Hello everyone, I'm Tomasz Gigahertz and in this video I want to go over some of the main features of the Phasma drum machine. It is a TNC based pocket drum machine, a design for a DIY workshop at the Phasma festival in Athens. At the top left corner, you can find the clock input, output jacks, and tempo control. On the other side is the power switch, line output jack, headphones jack, and volume control. In the center, you can find the mode indication LED. These are the various mode buttons and the four parameter controls, pitch, decay, modulation, and distortion. Finally, these are the four pads used to record sequences, change patterns, and mute voices. To record a pattern, first make sure that the sequencer is running, indicated by the green LED blinking in tempo. Enter record mode by pressing the record button. The mode LED will turn now red to indicate this. Now press one of the pads corresponding to each voice to record. It will automatically quantize and play back. To record parameter modulation, press down and hold for one second the record button and tweak the parameter knobs. This will affect the parameters only for the currently selected voice, which would be the last recorded indicated by the constantly lit LED above the pad. You can randomize the parameters simply by pressing and holding down the mute erase button and pressing record. To enable the metronome track, you have to enter the record mode with a long press. Since we are already in record mode, First we have to exit, then press and hold record again for one second. The mode LED will briefly go off to indicate that the metronome is enabled. To disable the metronome, simply exit record mode. To raise the sequence for a specific voice, Press and hold down the erase mute button and then the corresponding voice pad. If you need to select a different voice for changing its parameters, for example, without recording a step, you have to do so from the play mode. It is possible to also temporarily mute a voice by pressing and holding down the mute erase button. The LED will turn the yellow to indicate this, and the currently active voices will be constantly lit. There are four pattern slots that you can access by holding down the pattern button. The mode LED will turn blue to indicate this. And the currently selected pattern LED will flash. You can permanently store the patterns on the device memory, together with all of its automation, by pressing record while holding the pattern button, though this will save only the currently selected pattern. Erase a complete pattern. Press the erase button while in pattern mode. You can also copy patterns from one location to another by pressing and holding down a pattern pad. It will start flashing faster and then press the destination pattern pad where you want it to copy. Enable pattern chaining 
press the play button while holding down the pattern button. Now the mode LED will turn light blue. Next, press the pattern pad in the sequence you want, and they will transition in the same sequence once the pattern is finished. Secure the chain. Simply exit and enter pattern mode again. And press one of the pattern pads that you wish to stay on. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. And what kind of features would you like to see in a project like this? Thanks for watching. See you next time.